In this video, we're going to talk about how you can integrate an existing rollbar project with Asana. Before we begin, let's make sure we're clear on a few assumptions before we continue. Number one, that you already have an existing rollbar project that's actually received some errors. And number two, you have an existing Asana account that's already been integrated with rollbar. So let's jump over to rollbar here. We can see we have a new project with a few recent errors that have, have been sent in. So right now we're going to go and click on the Asana integration. So we're going to go here and click on settings. And now we're going to go ahead and select our particular project. And now what we're going to do under integrations, we're going to go and click on notifications. And now we're going to go ahead and select Asana. And now here we're going to go ahead and choose our credentials. So I've already integrated my account with Asana, but essentially if, if you didn't, if you haven't done that, it would guide you through what to do here. Essentially, you're going to log in and you're going to take the Asana API key and put it into Rollbar to link the two accounts. So we're going to click on Enable Asana Integration. And we can see that's been integrated and I'm going to click on Send a Test Notification. Okay, so we see here that we have a test task already been generated from Rollbar, which is great. It indicates that the initial integration is working. So if we scroll down here, you can see these are the rules we have out of the box. This is the case for all of our um, out of the box built in um, no notifications with all these different tools. These are sort of the default rules that will show up, but I can click edit. And I'm showing you this because if you want to customize and be able to get much more granular, so you're only going to be sending um, rollbar items to Asana that are really critical or meet the criteria that you're looking for, you can do that here. So any error that's greater than or equal to the level of error is going to be sent. But, you know, maybe I wanted to do anything greater than or equal to info. Maybe I wanted to add an environment production. Maybe I wanted to add context or a file name. I can do that so I can make this as granular as I like, so I'm not just going to blast this on it. So now let's go back over here and click on items. And we're going to go ahead and click on a particular item recently that's come in. And now you can see here that it says create a sauna task. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And now it says view in Asana. So let's go ahead and look at this particular task in Asana. And we can see now that we have this new task in Asana. And over here to the right, in this right pane, we have uh, the item. This would click me, take me back to the item page in Rollbar. And I had the actual exception and the stack trace that generated the error. If I go back over here, I can also, you know, unlink this Asana task if I wanted to do that. Or I could link with a different one. So this would make it really easy to manage all your Asana tasks right from within the Rollbar GUI which can make things much simpler and easier for you and your team. Hopefully you found this video useful. Feel free to reach out to us or go on the website to get more information and tips just like this. Thank you.